We had a guy next to us, every time they'd make an announcement, he would go, boo! He actually got threatened to get the cops called on him later by the flight attendant. Between the whole time we get on the plane, we're on there for six hours without moving. And then people start chanting, let us off, let us off. <laughs> Good morning you guys welcome back to another vlog i haven't done like a normal vlog in a hot minute because we've been traveling and i miss just doing normal vlogs i honestly just really miss being at home like because we've been traveling so much like especially right after the move and we just want to be home and enjoy our new house and i don't know I missed it i missed you guys in a normal context so i figured i would do like a daily vlog today and just take you guys along on my day. So I have a nail appointment in 40 minutes. I still have to drive there, so I'm gonna throw on a very quick glam. CC cream, you already know. Literally just my favorite. Um, I've been talking to you guys more too about like my skin, and the more I talk to you guys, and the more I research, such a common side effect after weight loss surgery and like i wanted to talk about it because i want you guys to know that it's normal and like just be very authentic in this process like apparently it's a huge thing after um weight loss surgery that your hormones get really thrown off because your body's going through so much change they're removing part of your stomach like it's a lot on the body i actually did get these like hormone balance like natural supplements i'm gonna try as well and like real talk i thought for a second i'm like maybe i should do a quick round of accutane again because i did accutane years ago and i've talked to so many people and like they all had to do it twice or three times to really make their acne go away but like we're gonna be trying to get pregnant at the end of this year and i'm like i don't want to even have that close like even if there's enough time in between i just know <laughs> That actually brings me to the sponsor of this video. I'm so excited when we got back, this came in the mail. I can't wait to incorporate this and use this. It's from Natural Cycles. Uh, thank you so much to them for partnering with me on this because this is cool. Natural Cycles is the first FDA cleared birth control app in the US. It's also CE marked in Europe, but it looks like this little thermometer. I love that it's 100% just an app. There's no hormones in this birth control. And I love it because it can really help you learn about your body and your natural cycle because I've actually been very fascinated um, learning about my cycle. And my cycle has also been a lot more um, regular since my surgery, which I find interesting. So it is powered by an algorithm that uses your basal body temperature and other fertility indicators to determine your fertility status. So how it works, in the morning you take your temperature with the Natural Cycles thermometer here and then you just input it into the Natural Cycles app. And then the app will tell you your status for the day. So there are green days and red days. Since this is like a birth control app, the green days means you're not fertile and you're good to go and have sex. But on a red day, it would mean that you're fertile and need to use another form of protection. But for me, I am planning to use this especially when we were trying to get pregnant and I can learn about my cycle, my fertility windows. So like, I love that it can be used for either, you know, birth control or helping you get pregnant when you're ready. And uh, this is gonna be perfect for us the rest of this year as we are waiting to get pregnant. And then when we wanna get pregnant, I can just use this. It's so cool. I'm so excited, truly, like this is awesome. And when it's being used to prevent pregnancy, it's a uh, 93% effective with typical use, but 98% effective with perfect use, which means you're actually following your red and green days. Perfect use means you're not having sex without other protection on red days. Natural Cycles is effective from day one, but the more that you use it, the more it gets to know your cycle, the more green days you're gonna have. So I'll keep you guys posted in vlogs as I am using it and let you know how it goes. But if you guys wanna try it as well and come along on this little journey with me, you guys can get 20% off on your annual Natural Cycle subscription and you'll get a free thermometer. You guys, I can't wait to get my freaking nails done. They are so crusty, busty, dusty. This hand more than this hand, but like they're breaking. <laughs> I don't know, the place I went last time, it got like, I don't know, like a weird film over the top coat that they put on and it just was not a vibe whatsoever. <laughs> so 
I'm gonna go to a different place today. I gotta speed this up, a little brow gel. Oh my God, you guys, should I do a quick little story time on our freaking travel nightmare coming home from Miami? <laughs> I was updating you guys on Instagram like if you're not following me there that is where y'all are getting the day-to-day -day updates but yo <laughs> you guys coming home from Miami was a hot mess express I'll do a quick story time just as I finish my makeup here um okay so we we traveled with his grandma we actually took her for like a birthday gift and she has family in Miami she's thinking of moving to Miami so we went down there. It was her first time. It was so cute. She had such a good time. We had such a fun trip. Um, you guys will have seen that vlog by the time this video is coming out. And all is well. You know, she has some knee problems. We get to the airport super early so she can walk slow. We get her a wheelchair. All is well. <laughs> uh, we get to our gate early. We end up getting there early enough to have breakfast. Our flight leaves at 11.20. And we're finished with breakfast at like 9.30. Like we have so much time. And we end up boarding the plane like usual. You know, we take off on the, onto the runway, the tarmac, and we are sitting there and he's like, the pilot comes on, he's like, there's a thunderstorm, we are sixth in line to take off, it's probably gonna take like 45 minutes. Um, you know, people are like, oh, whatever, but like whatever, like big deal. That's not that bad. Um, 45 minutes passes, maybe an hour, and he's like, as we were next to take off, there was a maintenance issue. We have to go back to the gate. And you know, at this point, people are starting to get a little rowdy because there is also a few screaming kids. God bless them. I feel so bad. I know I feel bad for the parents. I feel bad for the kids. Like that's, that's a lot to deal with, you know, because like they're tired. They don't want to be stuck on a plane. There's not much the parents can do. Like it's, you know, everyone's like low key salty and that's, it's just, it's sad. I feel bad for parents, um, especially traveling. Like, whew, that's hard. Um, we've got a few screaming kids, we're going back to the gate, whatever. They turn the plane off both before and now to like conserve power. Um, <laughs> we were in my Hemi, so it was hot as well. I'm in the window seat. <laughs> I don't like the window seat, I prefer the aisle, but we don't even have an aisle. Yar's grandma's sitting behind us. Um, and like, I don't like the window because then you're kind of smushed, especially being plus size, you're kind of like smushed against the window. But alas, my dear husband takes the middle seat for me because that's obviously worse. <laughs> so we wait probably another hour. I'm just gonna preface this. We were on, we were at the gate and it, between the whole time we get on the plane, we were on there for six hours without moving. Let me just preface with that. Six hours, a long, long time. As they're working on the maintenance issue, they let us know the pilots have hit their legal limit for the day because like pilots can only work a certain amount of hours a day so they don't like fall asleep. And they're like, we're gonna have to fly you guys to Atlanta. <laughs> We're going to Atlanta to get new pilots and people are pissed. Whether they had a connecting flight, whether they're just like, what the heck? Now people are starting to get rowdy. We had a guy next to us, every time they'd make an announcement, he would go, boo. And that was giving me anxiety. <laughs> it was giving me a lot of anxiety. Um, he actually got threatened to get the cops called on him later by the flight attendant. Mm -hmm. And they give people the option. They're like, if you wanna get off the plane and not go to Atlanta, you can get off now. And we're like, well, <laughs> At this point, like, we'll stay on the plane. You know what I mean? Like, what, are we gonna get off and like find a whole new situation? Like, no. They're gonna take us to Atlanta and get a new pilot and we'll go home, fine. So a few people do get off and then like another hour later, they tell us we haven't left yet because now that people got off, the plane is off balance in weight. Then they start taking the luggage off. <laughs> we can see out the window and people are starting to like now lose their minds. They're taking the luggage off to like recalibrate the weight balance or something. And then like, as we're ready to now go to Atlanta, there's another maintenance issue. I can't remember what they said at this point. And now people actually started chanting cause now it's been, it's been probably about five hours. Um, and people start chanting, let us off, let us off. <laughs> and at this point, um, you know, I will say too, they never offered us like food or water and like people were like, this is illegal. It really was just crazy, crazy, crazy. So eventually they do let us off. They laugh only the people that don't want to go to Atlanta, like 90% of the airplane leaves. And I'm like, they're not going to go to Atlanta with like 10 people on the plane. So then they deboard the whole plane and they're like, we won't have answers for two hours. <laughs> oh, so we're all just like waiting at the terminal, waiting at the terminal. And then long story short, um, we end up leaving at 11.45, 12 plus hours after the original flight. Uh, but you know what? It was just, I was just so thankful to go home and not have to like get a hotel. But first we were 
Yara and I were thinking like let's just get our bags and like go to a hotel like grandma's tired if it was just us we wouldn't have minded but we have this poor grandmother with us and like we just felt really bad she's just stuck in the airport and you know that's a lot for anyone but then we were like how on earth would we get our bags like we can't just abandon the bags because <laughs> they were not taking them off the plane they weren't really giving anyone options and that's why everyone was going crazy they're like what are our options and they're kind of just like you have to just wait but I know that like all these airlines are like severely understaffed and like I feel bad because I know it's none of the workers fault you know and people are starting to get sassy and like we're in line and I get up there and I'm like I'm so sorry I know you're dealing with a lot <laughs> it was crazy it was just crazy <laughs> But like in between that, there's also just like a lot of little things happening that I just, I don't know, like people were getting rowdy, <laughs> rowdy. So anyway, it was a crazy time coming home. So, and then we have like an hour ride home when we get back from the airport and we had to bring his grandma home too. We didn't go to sleep until like 5, 5.30. And Yara and I are like, let's, uh, let's just take a break from flying because we also had like just a total fiasco when we came home from our honeymoon. I think that was that the last time we flew. Well, we went to Florida. That was fine before we went to see Gabby. That was fine. But we've just we've had a few crazy flights at this point. We're like, let's just let's just take a little break from flying. I'm sure that story time like slowed me down a little bit. Okay, perfect. We're actually right on time. Let's go get our nails done. Um, I'm gonna throw a little dry shampoo in and just keep my hair up because it's like a rainy day, it's humid. Quick let off of the day. I've been living in this oversized Shein denim jacket, some Old Navy joggers. I love these Old Navy joggers, my little slides, and then just a black tank. Okay guys, so I just got my nails done and I'm trying to find a nail salon closer to our new home. And they did a great job. Like she really took care of my cuticles, but like there was a few like, okay, so um, I do the dip. And they only had the dip in the, most of them were in the little tubs. And they look totally different in the tubs than they do on like the little nail swatches. But they had like just like maybe 10 nail swatches. So I'm like, I'm just going to pick one of those so I know what it will look like. And the color I picked was like this really pretty like coral. And this is like bubblegum pink. <laughs> like it doesn't look anything close to the swatch. And I thought I was doing myself a solid by picking one with, with a swatch. But all right they're still really pretty though honestly I'm not even really mad about it they're still like super summery and like my cuticles are snatched she did an amazing job so we'll take it but still I don't I don't think I, I don't think I can go there again because I need a place that has them all with like the little nail swatches because I'm not gonna be able to pick one just from the tub they look so different in the tub than on your nails Anyway, um, I gotta go pick up our grocery order from Whole Foods, and I think I'm gonna stop at little Starbucks. Starbucks. Okay, I'm home. I have the window open next to you, so sorry if you hear any things. So let's do a little grocery haul. I got some cotton candy grapes. I love these. Carrots. Um, I actually saw a recipe I wanna try, and I'll try it with you guys. It's um, <sighs> carrot bacon. <laughs> Yarmit just sneezed, um, and it was, I saw it on TikTok. I actually ordered some liquid smoke for it too. You use like soy sauce, brown sugar, liquid smoke, um, and it just, it looked really good. <laughs> it looked really good. I got some of this cheese. I'm gonna make some street tacos. I got some little Baby Bell cheeses, great for snacking. Um, I grabbed these, these are great on the go. Just little pistachios, um, just nice little, Snack. Got a big bag of mandarins. I thought these were clementines. Are mandarins and clementines the same thing? I don't know, but they're delicious. Oh, here's the liquid smoke. I've never used liquid smoke, but I'm fa I'm fascinated by this. <laughs> and some whole grain protein pasta. Yarman wanted some crackers. Crackers. He likes to have crackers and cheese for a snack. And I like to have one of these in the house. I actually whipped up just like last minute some Alfredo last night. This sauce is so good. The Rayo's roasted garlic Alfredo. So good. And then I think this is just my chicken. Yes. This is the chicken for the tacos I'm going to make tonight. Um, pollo asada. Marinated chicken. Oh my god. It looks so good. I... I love pre-marinated pre chicken. Like I could totally just like marinate it myself, but um, I always forget. And then by the time we're gonna eat dinner, I haven't marinated the chicken. 
so I need to just prioritize it a little bit more. Ooh, also, <laughs> I have a couple bags of oranges from the other day. I, um, I want to make fresh orange juice for yard. I have this juicer attachment for the KitchenAid and I've always wanted to like try to make fresh juice and he just loves fresh OJ. So I think we'll try to do that together. Okay, today's mission, fresh juice, baby. I'm so excited to try this. So Yar got me this a long time ago. So I don't know exactly how to use it. I'm gonna look it up. And then I bought on Amazon. Everyone has these on TikTok. <laughs> These cute little refillable bottles. Uh, and I can put them in our little mini fridge, which we've started to use finally. We have our drinks in here. So perfect. So I can fit them boop, right there. So let's first wash the little, uh, little bottles. All right, you guys, this was actually pretty easy to assemble. So this attachment just goes right on here. And then this thing, you just hold the orange or like the lime or lemon, whatever you're using, and then this will spin to get the juice out. And it has a little strainer attachment too, and then it will come out here. So, all right, I'm excited. Let's plug it in. They said to put the um, power on six. Okay, <laughs> I'm so excited. Let me get, let me get a cutting board. <laughs> Can we just? Uh, you yeah. try to sneakily grab a cookie. You just sneak here and grab a cookie. <laughs> this, this bowl has kind of like a nice rounded or squared edge so I can like pour it into my little cups. Okay. Okay. <laughs> All right, let's just shove this on here. Nothing's happening. <laughs> oh, shoot. <laughs> oh, no. What did I do wrong? I really thought I nailed it. I really thought I nailed it. This is depressing. I have it plugged in. Hmm. Oh. Okay. It is working. All right, let's take this off. We don't need this. I did see this spinning. Look it. Okay. All right. All right. Let's try her again. Shove it on. There we go. Ha ha. Got to add a lot of force. A lot of force. A lot of force. Oh my god. Oh. Wow, that's impressive. Look at all that. Wow. It got a decent amount of juice. See, how I'd say like two tablespoons. Okay, but there's still a little bit left. So I'm going to keep going. Whew. This is a lot. It's a lot of work. It is a lot of work. I thought it would be easier. Maybe we should buy like a legitimate juicer, to be honest. If this is gonna be like a new thing in our house and you like yeah. love this, I can't do this every few days. <laughs> it's not quite sustainable. All right, so Yarman established that it's easier to just keep it on a lower power at six and twist it. All right, <laughs> we're figuring it out. All right, we're done. So eight oranges made this and it's actually a lot. So I'm gonna fill up the little 12 ounce containers and then I'll be able to tell you um, how many ounces we got out of this. But I don't know, it's kind of a lot. And nothing will go to waste because Yar loves oranges. So he's just gonna eat the rest, the tiny little bits that wouldn't come out. More about the pulp. All about the pulp. This looks really good. So. These are pretty much almost air dried. I think we're go good to go. Do you trust me or should I use a funnel? Do we even have a funnel? You should use a funnel. Do I have a funnel, babe? You just got a plastic Oh, bottle. I have a funnel. I have a funnel yeah. for my funnel. spices. Oh, it's perfect. Yeah. Oh my God, it's perfect. All right, mm -hmm. can you hold the bottle? Cause I really don't trust myself. Mm -hmm. you're, I know you're enjoying that orange heavily. All right, there's one. Ooh. That's pretty cool. Right? <laughs> Oh, it's exactly four. Yes, and there's like a drop left. Dude, that's perfect. That's so cool. It made exactly 48 ounces, thanks babe. 48 ounces um, from eight oranges, I said, I think. So, yeah. All right, babe, wanna just take one look? Oh, you just sipped it. We got a review. What do you think? 
It's crazy how no sugar is needed. Yeah, it's literally <coughs> just oranges. That's so good. It's good? Yeah. What, wait, wait, wait. Was it as good as the Florida restaurants? Because Florida oranges are even better than they're here. Different. They're yeah, different. Yeah, they're, they're different. Like, no. Yeah. There, there's nothing that beats a Florida orange juice. But these are still better than like Tropicana or something. For sure, 100%. Okay, so it's yeah. worth it, you think? Yeah. So exciting. Okay, you guys, it is 5.30. I'm cooking up some dinner. So I have that pollo asada in here, but this is the chicken marinated. Just cut it up, put it in here. And for toppings, I have this cheese. Um, I have this, we love Sir Kensington. So we have this chili lime crema. I was actually gonna make my own crema. Um, maybe I'll do that on mine. Just with Greek yogurt, I do it with salt and a little bit of lime juice. Some avocado, some reduced fat cheese. I'm gonna do some onion and tomato. And I think that's about it. Look at that ripe avocado. Gorgeous. Gorgeous. Oh my God, also, I never showed you guys when we got back from Miami, our stairs were stained and now they match the hardwood out here. Isn't it gorgeous? It makes such a difference. Let me turn on the big light here. You can see it a little bit better because um, they needed to stain it to match this hardwood. Oh my God, it's gorge. And it was perfect because we were gone a few days. So it had time to like dry and stuff, but it really just like finished the look. Here are Yar's tacos. How good do these look? I'm like, they look so good. Babe, look how good these look. Oh, it, it looks, uh, what do you call it? The, uh, I don't know what I'm trying to say. <laughs> it just looks fresco. Like, you know, like so, yeah. that word yeah, we'll people take use, it. right? Yeah. It, it looks very, uh, Refreshing. Let's and, get a bite and, review. Let's and, pretend and this taste, is so fresh. Tasteful. Tasteful. Yeah. Is that even a word? I don't know. You know when you work it all good. day? good. <laughs> you know when you work all day and you can't put words, words together Pretty as much. I'm struggling? Right? That's definitely the vibe. This looks good though. Yeah. Can't even take a bite. <laughs> is it HelloFresh or Alex? Mmm. That chicken is good. I tried a bite of it. The What's mirror. the sauce? It's, uh, oh, it's from Sir Kensington. It's a lime crema. Mm -hmm. You like it? Yay. Hey, you guys. It is hours later. Um, it's actually just starting to get dark now. It's funny how much lighter later it stays. I took a nap earlier, so I think my makeup is kind of coming off, but that's okay. I just wanted to come on here and wrap up this vlog. Um, I'm editing it now. I love editing at our kitchen island. It just feels right. Like This is where we do a lot of work. But um, the tacos were amazing. Highly recommend that pollo asada. It's... Um, I think I've showed you guys earlier, so hopefully you can grab it at your Whole Foods because, oh my God, the flavor was crazy. It was so good. So um, I'm going to end today's vlog, nice little daily vlog for you, and um, I'm going to Lily's bachelorette party this weekend, so I'm so excited. Maybe I'll show a little bit of my Instagram if you guys want to follow me there, but I don't think I'm going to vlog it because that's like her special, her special day, but I'm so excited, and I love you guys so much, and <laughs> I will see you very soon. Bye.